<laughs> Hello, welcome. I'm Steve Watson with today's Tai Chi Chuan tip. So the practice here is to be doing your form practice and taking note of places in which your weight um, shifts entirely to one leg. So that's generally going to be right before you step with another leg or kick with another leg or perhaps pivot with the other leg. So in those positions or at any one of those positions, when you're practicing your form, so here I've just completed the technique and I'm on the rear leg and I should be on the rear leg. I'm gonna just pause at the moment that I feel like that's what I consider the end of the move. And rather than moving on to the next move, my practice is going to be to lift the other knee. I say knee because I want to relax in the hip and not drive with the foot by, you know, uh, articulating the ankle. So here's what feels to me like the end of my expression of that move. And my practice is going to just lift my other leg. Now, not such a terribly difficult thing to do. So that's great. So here I am. But the question is, can I pay attention and go slowly enough, both in um, body and in mind, to take note of the idea that here I am at the end of what I consider the move, and I wanna pick up my foot, and I'm self-assessing honestly, carefully, do I make any other adjustments here in order to lift my leg? Does something tighten? Does something cantilever? Does something continue shifting? In other words, if I've shifted entirely to one position, and that is in fact the end of this move, if I cannot simply lift my other knee without making some adjustment, however minor, I haven't really understood the move or applied myself to the move to bring it about, to bring it to fruition properly. So the idea, and this really requires some slow processing and some patience and attentiveness and sincerity. If I cannot just lift this slowly without making some adjustment after the end of the move and before the raised knee, I haven't actually completed that move. I haven't actually fully performed that move. So if I find myself here and I have to, there's a little bit more shift or there's a little tightening or there's a little more release or there's a little bit of cantilevering or um, ex, uh, posterior pelvic tilt, for example, then I've really not quite come into that one leg the way I'd like. So anyway, there's your uh, Tai Chi Chuan tip for the day. I wish you happy and safe practice.